This is QCC alum David Russell, game two of the alumni doubleheader underway. The blue and red teams have teamed up and they're taking on the current Lady Tigers wearing their home white jerseys. This unlike the first game, this is gonna be officiated a little more tightly. And Nicole Sly misses the first shot of the game. This is a Queensboro team that lost in the CUNY semifinal playoff last year. The alumni have the ball. They lost to Hostos 55-44 in a game at BMCC. They uh, failed to make the regional playoffs last year, just missing out. And Kanoi wave off the basket. She's called for traveling. Kanoi in that playoff game against Hostos turned the ball over 14 times. Overall, it was a very good season for her. It was named CUNY Player of the Year. And that postseason ended, by the way, with BMCC beating Hostos in the CUNY championship game. And now BMCC is not even going to have a woman's team of their own this year. And that goes out of bounds to the current Lady Tigers one minute in. I think Queensboro out of the five teams. You can't rule anybody out when it's only a five-team conference, but I think the Lady Tigers would be if you had to make a favorite for who's going to win CUNY this year would be them. I think LaGuardia could be tough. As Candace Etienne puts the alumni up 2-0. Kingsboro being coached by Bob DiNardo this year, the former Queensboro coach. As Etienne pulls down the rebound. DiNardo was the women's coach here. In 2011-2012, as Sabrina Moore makes it 4 nothing. DiNardo was actually also an assistant for the men's team here in 1984 under Tom McKenna. Also have a Bronx team in the conference, which has won one game over its first two seasons. The one win came last year against Kingsboro. Queensboro still looking for their first points, and here's Giselle Prentice. Couldn't hit. Ludesi Gonzalez, one of the returners. And Kanoi puts up an air ball and it goes to the alumni. Not playing today is Sabrina Rodriguez, who played in the 2011 2012 season for Bob DiNardo when Queensboro won the regular season championship for CUNY, although they lost in the semifinals of the playoffs. Turnaround jumper and it's 6 nothing alumni. Two and a half minutes in. And timeout called by the current team. The alumni have come out up 6 nothing. Queensboro looking for their first points of the game. They trail 6 0. Here's Kanoi putting up a straight on three, and it's short. Got her own rebound. And Kanoi puts it in, and it's 6 2 alumni. Here's Sly, Etienne. Tiberi puts up a three and it's good. Nikki Tiberi makes it 9 2 alumni. Kanoi. Here's Prentice, the CUNY Rookie of the Year last year. The pass is turned over. Alumni ball, it's Sabrina Moore.
to Beery. Nice pass to Moore, and the jumper is a little long. You'll say Sabrina Rodriguez, who was back this year after missing last year, was Region 15 Player of the Year in 2011-2012. Counted, and the foul. Queensboro makes it 9-4. Trying to finish the three-point play. And does, and it's 9-5. Blue team won game one of this doubleheader against the red team, 51-37. There's more to Williams. Sly. Nice pass, Candace Etienne misses. Queensboro with numbers, Kanoi going to the basket. And hits, and it's 9-7. Kanoi is at her best when she attacks. And how many times do you get to see two players of the year play together at the two-year level? When Sabrina Rodriguez is back, we have the 2012 Regional Player of the Year and the 2013 CUNY Player of the Year, as Nicole Sly makes it 11-7. Alumni lead, four and a half minutes in. Or you can make a case Sabrina Rodriguez could have won CUNY Player of the Year two years ago. I mean, she won Regional Player of the Year, which you would think is tougher. As Moore misses the layup, the award that year went to Christina Sherbin of Host House Community College. As Moore lays it in, and the alumni lead 13-7. And Christina Sherbin actually won CUNY Player of the Week three times last year. Although it was Shantana Kanoi who won CUNY Player of the Year. Issue with the shot clock. Reads 29, and now it's 26. As some subs go in. Latasha Harris, Niaja Irby, Anne Marie Johnson. Stephanie Tavares in for the alumni. And here's Kanoi. And the foul is called inside. Underneath, loose balls picked up and put in. And it's 13-9 alumni. And Latasha Harris puts up a three, it's short. She hit a few three-pointers in game one of the doubleheader. Good pass by Prentice, but the shot was missed and then a foul committed. Tasha Harris having a word with the ref. Don't know what that was about. Inside out passing, Irby a three. And it's rebounded. And now Kanoi running again. Nice pass by Kanoi and it's put in off glass and it's 13-11. Harris to Tavares who puts up a three. 
And it's long, offensive rebound by Irby, and then her pass was stolen. And here's Kanoy, pass to Prentice, and Prentice ties the game at 13. Alumni looking to take back the lead. Here's Harris down to 10 on the shot clock. Trisha Pierre, an air ball, and a tie up is called. Ball to QCC with 12.50 to go in the first half. Pass was tipped and turned over. Now long pass by Latasha Harris. Nice tip. Irby will take it back out. Tavares threw up a wild one and missed. Here's Prentice. Turn around shot. Rims out. And the ball goes to the alumni with 12-21 remaining. First half. Alumni looking to take back the lead. Latasha Harris misses a three. And the pass was thrown too far out in front of Prentice and it's turned over. Harris to Irby. Tavares for three and may have been tipped by a, well no they say it was just an air ball. QCC ball. Pass was tipped. Here's Prentice. Three pointer is no good. Rebounded by Dominique Williams. Williams, who played for Joe Medina. There's a three by Tiberi, and it's good. Nikki Tiberi from downtown. The alumni lead 16 13. There's a three-pointer, no good by Prentice. Ball to the alumni, 11-01 remaining in the first. Something I mentioned in the first game, a lot of the women in this game either played for Bob DiNardo or Joe Medina. Men's alumni game you had, as it may have played for Larry Dantzler, may have played for Tom Sinickson. That's from the 90s, and Tiberi couldn't hit that one, but it's rebounded by Moore. Molina puts up a three, and it's an air ball. Last touch by Williams. Goes to QCC. Three-pointer would have tied the game. Prentice puts it in at 16-15. Alumni still up by one. And the clock isn't running, it's at 10.37. Ref noticed. We put 26 on the shot clock. 
Should be a few seconds less remaining. Now the clock is running. 10.30 to go in the half. Williams misses. More the rebound. More misses. And then a tie-up. And the alumni will keep it. More underneath and is fouled. More at the line for two. Hits the first at 17 15. So Moore splits the free throws. QCC ball. Kanoi running. And lost it. Alumni ball to Berry. Nice pass to Molina, who hits the three. And it's 2015 alumni. Melissa Bell Molina puts the alumni up by five. Prentice, pass down low, is blocked by Sly. And then a foul is called against the alum. The alumni forgot about Kanoi, but she couldn't make them pay. Gonzalez with the rebound and then lost it. And Sabrina Moore brings it up court for the alumni. And Dominique Williams puts up a three and misses. And couldn't save it. So QCC will have it with 9.25 to go in the half. Kanoi long pass and Sly broke up the pass. Ref just telling the scores table it should be 25 on the shot clock. It never started. Now the ref is saying why did you reset it? Went to 30 again. Now it's at 25. So now that's squared away and Kanoi goes to the basket and hits and it's 2017. And Sly ducked, wasn't expecting it. See if Molina puts up another three. More. Directing traffic. More to Sly. The jumper is no good. Molina saves it in. Nice play by Molina who takes a three and puts up an air ball. Saved in by Moore underneath. And now Kanoi. Molina between her and the basket. And Kanoi lays it in anyway. Undeterred and it's now 2019. Alumni up by one, 8.15 to go in the first half. Moore comes out with it, Sly puts up a three, and it's no good. Kanoi up ahead to Prentice, and Prentice couldn't finish. More long pass to Tiberi, and he gets there. 
Berry couldn't hit. May have been some contact. And Moore thought about a three. And takes a two and gets the shooter's touch and it's 22-19. And the foul is called against the alumni. 7.22 to go. Prentice to tie the game. Couldn't hit Gonzalez with the offensive rebound. It's broken up by Irby. <laughs> Gonzalez inbounding, had to go through her hands. And Prentice, tough jumper is no good. Rebounded by Tiberi. Nicole Sly, Gonzalez right in her face. Back out. And the pass is picked off by Kanoi. And Kanoi will lay it in. Defense leading to offense, it's 22-21. Had such a big part of Kanoi's game last year and Sabrina Rodriguez the year before her. There's a long pass to Barry, puts up a three, and it's long, rebounded by Kanoi. Queensboro looking to take the lead. Kanoi to Prentice for two. And the Lady Tigers lead the alumni 23 22, 6.05 to go in the first. Remember the alumni started this game off with a six nothing run. There's a nice shot. It's Anne Marie Johnson putting the alumni up 24-23. Tightly contested first half. That pass was almost broken up by Irby. Gonzalez got it back and put it in and QCC leads 25-24. Five and a half to play in the first. Here's Latasha Harris. Harris getting inside and traveling is called. Four new subs in for the alum. The only one who stays is Niaja Irby. Nice defense by Moore, it'll stay with QCC. Refs had to tell the scorer's table again about the clock. Here's Kanoi to Gonzalez. Shot is too strong. Offensive rebound in the basket is good. And QCC leads now 27-24. 4.45 to go in the first. Moore to Williams, pass Irby, back Sabrina Moore will just take the shot and miss. And Kanoi, good defense by Moore. 
Prentice, nice pass down low. Couldn't finish, rebounded by Moore. Long pass up ahead to Irby. We'll go back outside, the long two is no good. So approaching four minutes to play in the first half, nice pass to Prentice. And then it's turned over. Ball to the alumni. Alumni with the ball, trailing by three. It's Dominique Williams to Moore. This, that was a long two, no good. Trisha Pierre missed. And Canoy's pass was a little too high. Ball back to the alumni. Dominique Williams and traveling is called on Williams here's Kanoi Prentice down low and it's good Nice basket assisted by Prentice. It's 29-24 QCC. They've scored six points in a row. Here's Irby, and Irby is called for traveling. A few different traveling violations on the alumni. 2.40 to go in the first half. Gonzalez pass was taken away by Moore. Defense leading to offense for Sabrina Moore. It's now 29-26. Two minutes to go in the first half. And Gonzalez throws up a tough shot. Sabrina Moore. And a foul is called against QCC. Only their third of the half. Moore underneath is fouled and will go to the line for two. This is the first. So more splits to free throws. It's 29-27.
100 seconds to go in the first half. Close first half. Neither team is led by double digits. And Kanoi misses a three. There's an offensive rebound and then a turnover. The alumni can tie or take the lead. Here's more for three. And it's good. And the alumni go up 30 29. One minute to go. And a double dribble is called. Ball back to the alumni. 56 and 8, 10 seconds remaining in the first. Three pointers and air ball. QCC will have it. Nine and a half second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Here's Kanoi. Back outside, Prentice for the lead. And it's good. Giselle Prentice from downtown. It's now 32 30, Queensboro. Alumni can hold for the last shot of the half. 15 seconds to go, shot clock turned off. You make a move with eight seconds left or so. A seven, six, five, here's more. Shot no good, Etienne. Couldn't pull it down. Loose ball and that'll do it for the first half. Well played first half, pretty good. Queensboro leads the alumni, 32-30. Beginning of the second half, Queensboro misses, offensive rebound is good. It's now 34-30, Queensboro. Pass here's Etienne. Nicole Sly. Moore. Couldn't hit. There's a rebound by Lopez. So the alumni have it back. The current Lady Tigers lead the alumni 34-30. Shot is off. This is game two of the alumni doubleheader. She's out. Prentice misses. There's the rebound and the putback. Six point lead for Queensboro, and Moore slices through the defense, but couldn't finish. But the alumni will keep it. It was last touched by Kanoi. Here's Dominique Williams. Etienne. Back to Williams. Here's Moore. Williams for three. And no good. And Lopez 
Sigley rolled it all the way <laughs> down the court. And there's Giselle Prentice. Misses and nobody was there for the alumni and it's 38-30. Six points in a row to start the second half for Queensboro. Candace Etienne to Nicole Sly and Sly hits first points of the second half for the alumni two and a half minutes in it's now 38-32 pass went through the hands of Lopez and Nikki Tiberi walks it up Nicole Sly, air ball, and Shantana Kanoi running. And Kanoi, nice pass to Prentice who couldn't hit. And there was a charge anyway. Queensboro had numbers but couldn't score. So sub goes in for Queensboro. To returner from last year, Quinasha Moore. Remember, Moore had a really good game against Hostos here last year. One of the two QPTV doubleheaders that was done here last year. Moore hit a few shots from downtown. As Dominique Williams ends up with that one. Moore being guarded by Moore. And Sabrina misses. And the foul is called against the alumni. First one is good, it's 39-32. 40 32, Queensboro by eight. More being guarded by Kanoi. And there's a 10 second violation. It's what the press did. There's a new role in the women's game. You gotta get it across half court in 10 seconds. It was always a staple of the men's game. The woman, it never really mattered how long it took, but they decided to put in the 10 second rule now. And Queensboro has it back. And Moore misses a three. Alumni have it, and here's a two on two. Sabrina Moore puts it in off glass. Good ag aggressive play by Sabrina Moore, and it's 40 34. Kanoi with it for the Lady Tigers. The alumni in a two three. Kanoi being guarded by Candace Etienne. And a tie-up is called. Ball to the alumni. And back in for the alumni is Latasha Harris and Dan Marie Johnson and Nyasia Irby.
Tabiri is double teamed and the turnover is forced. And the pass intended for Quinasha Moore is taken away by Latasha Harris. And Moore to Tabiri for two and it's 40-36. Still 15 minutes to go. That's picked up by Moore. And Quinasha Moore misses. There's the offensive rebound. Good hustle play. And Queensboro will reset. And Quinasha Moore hits a three. It's a friendly roll. It's 43 36. It's a loose ball. It stays with the alumni. Last touch by Queensboro. There's a basket by Anne Marie Johnson. It's 43 38. Queensboro leading by five, 14 minutes, 12 seconds remaining. Ludesi Gonzalez puts up a three, and it's no good. Queensboro taking a lot of jumpers. And Gonzalez gets inside and puts it in. And it's 45-38. Irby thought about it. Here's Tiberi being guarded by Almanzar. Latasha Harris, air ball. And the ball goes to Queensboro. To Barry, there's a long pass for Moore, but Moore couldn't finish. And now the Lady Tigers running back the other way. Kanoi, no whistle. Good no call by the refs. The alumni have it with 13.03 to go. Pass was a little behind Harris. Here's Stephanie Tavares. Good ball movement. Here's Irby. They're down to six on the shot clock, though. And then it's thrown away. So a lot of passing. Too much passing. Maybe one too many, I should say. There were only three seconds left on the shot clock when it was turned over. Kanoi's pass found its target somehow. No basket. Wave it off. Foul against the alumni before the shot. Only the second team foul against the alumni in this half. Inside, no good. Offensive rebound and the putback is good. QCC goes up 47-38. And a full timeout called by the alumni with 12-18 to go.
Alumni ball after the timeout, 12-10 remaining. Queensboro leads 47-38. And Queensboro has the ball back after the miss. 12 minutes to go. Kanoi trying to give QCC a double digit lead. Cannot. And it was rebounded by Anne Marie Johnson. Moore up ahead to Irby. Back to Moore. Had to go through her hands. Moore to Williams. Bounce pass, here's Johnson. Baseline, tough shot. Didn't have a great angle when she put it up. And here's Kanoi. Being guarded by Irby. Now double teamed. And a reach and foul is called. Here's Kanoi. Nice pass down low and the basket is good and Queensboro goes up by 11. 49-38. 11 minutes to go. Shot is off but there's the offensive rebound. Some contact, they were both going for the ball. Here's Sabrina Moore inside. Basket is no good. And then a foul is called against the alumni. So Sabrina Moore misses and commits a foul. There's a jumper, it's no good. And a foul called underneath. That'll be two shots for Queensboro. The free throws are split, it's now 50-38, 10-25 to go. Alumni have to make sure this lead does not get too out of hand. Need a basket here and here's Nicole Sly, shot is short, Williams a put back, no foul called. The alumni were asking for one. And a foul called underneath. <laughs> Alumni coach not happy. Saying how is that a foul but not at the other end. One thirty eight now. Free throws are split. Queensboro leads by thirteen under ten minutes to play. Moore's three-pointer is no good, but got it back. Underneath Williams to Tiberi, and it rims out. Tiberi to Williams, and that's good off glass. 
It's now 51-40 with nine and a half to go. Kanoi, no foul called. Nice save. And to bury the long pass to Moore. But Moore couldn't hit. And then put it in and was fouled. And now it's a single digit game again. 51 42, 909 to go. Moore couldn't finish the three-point play. It's still 51-42, 9.05 to go. Here's Prentice. His shot is no good. And hit the shot clock. Ball to the alumni. And a full timeout taken by Queensboro with 8.51 to go. The Lady Tigers lead the alumni 51-42. Here's Nicole Sly, tough shot, no good, got her own rebound and then had it pulled away by Kanoi. Kanoi, nice spin move and then a tie up. Good play by Tiberi. Queensboro will keep it on the alternating possession arrow with 8.28 to go and 24 on the shot clock. Kanoi takes a three. She was left alone and hits and Queensboro goes up by a dozen. 54-42. Kanoi is at her best when she attacks the basket but you still can't fall asleep on her at the three point line. Alumni trying to answer back. Williams for three. No good. And the alumni are really not in a position to trade baskets, and there's a turnover. The alumni will get it back. And there's a foul. Against Molina. And it'll be free throws for Queensboro. Seventh team foul of the half against the alumni.
Mecca Witherspoon misses the first. Misses the front end of a one and one. And the alumni have it. 7.40 to go, alumni down by a dozen. And Molina hits a three and it's a single digit game again, 54-45. Alumni hanging around. That pass is broken up. And here's Sabrina Moore ahead of the pack. And the layup is good and all of a sudden it's a seven point game. 54-47, 7.05 to go. Kanoi being guarded by Sabrina Moore. Now they switch off. Here's Prentice. Down to 10 on the shot clock. Kanoi takes a tough three. And it's short. Saved in. And a foul is called. Tough break for the alumni. Fouled with two seconds left on the shot clock. Two shots for QCC. First is good, it's 55-47. And a 30 second timeout taken by the alumni with 6.37 to go. Another foul called against the alumni. Now with 6.29 remaining. Ninth team foul against the alumni. Queensborough was only committed two. Fifty-six forty-seven, and now a full timeout taken by the alumni. alumni the alumni trail by nine.
So the free throw is good. It's 57 47, 627 to go. See what the alumni have after the timeout. Queensboro in a 2 3 zone. Here's Nicole Sly to Tiberi. Back to Sly, posting up. Jumper is no good. And rebounded by QCC. Here's Kanoi. Two on one. Kanoi pass was behind Prentice. If Prentice hit, that would have been a 12-point lead with six minutes to go. Missed opportunity. <laughs> if you're Queensboro, you want to make those mistakes now. Get them out of the way. Thursday night, LaGuardia Community College comes in here. The Wady Red Hawks, first ever game against Queensboro. Being coached by Anthony Alfaro. DeBerry's three is good, it's 57-50. There's a five point swing between the missed opportunity at the other end and the three for the alumni, it's a seven point game. Nell not in the coffin yet, still five and a half minutes to go. Here's Kanoi, takes a tough three and it's good. Shantana Kanoi puts the Lady Tigers up by 10. 60-50 with 5-10 to go. Here's Tiberi again. No good. Under five minutes to play. And Kanoi floater got her own rebound and put it in. Queensboro up by a dozen at 62-50. Shot is no good. It's a huge stop needed for the alumni and there's Sabrina Moore taking it away from behind from Kanoi. And the pull-up jumper is good. And it's 62-52. Excellent play by Sabrina Moore. Lady Tigers in no hurry. Spreading it out. Now under four minutes to play. And Prentice will go to the line for two. Spread out the defense and that made a hole. Prentice went right through the defense. So Prentice misses them both. And here's Moore up ahead to Molina, but Molina couldn't score. And then Moore takes it away from Prentice. Underneath, Latasha Harris puts it in off glass. 62-54 with 3.39 to go. So now three and a half minutes to play. Alumni sticking with their 2-3 zone. Again, Lady Tiger slowing it down a bit, running some clock. 
And Prentice hits a three. 65-54 with 3.14 to go. Alumni running out of time. If they make a run, it has to be now. And Molina banks in a three. And it's 65-57. Molina answering the three by Prentice. And here's another three-pointer taken and another three-pointer hit. The lead is back up to 11, 68-57, 2.38 to go. Molina, another three. That one no good. There's a loose ball, and that'll be a tie-up with 2.21 remaining. And Moore is fouled with 2.20 remaining. Only the third foul against Queensboro. Have a few fouls to give and here's Moore for three and it's good. Alumni not going away, it's 68-60. Two minutes and 10 seconds remain. See if the alumni do something different on defense. They've given up threes the last few times down the court. And that shot is missed and rebounded by Williams. Two minutes to play. Latasha Harris to Molina for three. Air ball. But saved in by Williams. The shot clock reset. It shouldn't have. But nobody noticed. There's another long jumper, it's no good. Loose ball, last touch by Queensboro. Alumni will have it with 1.35 to go. And the shot clock will reset. It's a 19, it should reset. And it does. And Williams, it's a dangerous pass. Here's Moore, another three. Long rebound to Latasha Harris. 85 seconds to go, alumni down 68-60. Here's Harris, Moore another three. No good, and she gets her own rebound. Tried to throw it off Moore, and then Moore turns it over. 105 to go. The alumni don't need threes right now. And Moore takes another three. They could take a two. Queensboro will have it with 59 seconds to go. Queensboro should run some clock here. Down and there's a jumper. Taken eight seconds into the shot clock. Still 45 seconds to go. Up ahead, Latasha Harris. Couldn't score. That might really be it. Don't think the alumni would foul. And Moore misses badly. And here's Harris at the other end, laying it in. 68-62, it's a two possession game. 23 and 6, 10 seconds to go. But Queensboro doesn't need to shoot. And Latasha Harris fouls. With 18 and 9, 10 seconds to go. Prentice could put the game away.
Hits the first. 69-62. Second rim's out. Had an offensive rebound, but the shot was no good. Alumni ball, 12 seconds to go. And that should do it. <laughs> and that ends an entertaining game. This is QCC alum David Russell. Queensboro beats the alumni 69-62.